This is Morning Kurgow with our encouraging word for today on Monday, May the 17th, and our word for today is Jersey. You know, I suppose you'd have to be a, a real diehard football fan to understand this, but there's a young boy named David Withoft who really loved the Green Bay Packers. And he was, I, I guess you'd say, obsessed with his, his favorite player, uh, Hall of Fame quarterback Be uh, Brett Favre. And he was such a devoted fan that he wore the same number four Brett Favre jersey every day for 1,581 consecutive days. He, he first put the jersey on it on Christmas Day 2003, and he officially retired it on April 23rd, 2008, which is his 12th birthday. His mother, Carolyn, washed the jersey every, day, every other day and mended it when uh, uh, he needed it. And um, he was starting to become more concerned about his appearance after the jersey barely reached his belt line. Now, I'm guessing that at the age of 12, the opinions of young females may have entered into that decision. But my point is, when you think about what a, I mean, what a devoted fan, but we, we kind of look at that. Even though he's a kid, we go, well, that's just really kind of bizarre. But isn't he only doing what we as devoted followers of Jesus are to do? Romans 13 and verse 14 instructs us to clothe ourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ. Galatians 3.27 says, All of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. And Colossians 3 and verse 3 says, For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. In other words, when I, I put myself to death, I, I willingly sacrifice my self-centered, self-imposed identity and I step into the identity, true identity Jesus has for me. That doesn't mean I give up my individuality, but it means I clothe myself with him. He gives me a new identity. I've become one with the Son of God. Now, I'll tell you why that's so important right now, because we are in a war. A war with the forces of darkness. Ephesians 6 and verse 12 tells us that that's who we do battle with. And, and just before that, Paul describes the armor that we wrap ourselves in, we clothe ourselves in. He says that, you know, it's that, like the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, and so on. And if you really look at each one of those individually, it's talking about Jesus. We clothe ourselves with Jesus. You know, the belt of, of truth, Jesus is the truth. The breastplate of righteousness, he's our righteousness. He's the source of our salvation, and so on. And we are wrapped in Jesus. And that has two very important implications. Number one, that I represent him everywhere I go because I'm clothed in him. When I go to the gas station, the grocery store, at work, with our families, we are clothed in Jesus. We represent Jesus to them. We bring Jesus to them. And I confess, sometimes I'm, I, I don't represent him so well. But secondly, it's important in our times we're living in that there is no reason to fear. We're people, we're, we're just afraid right now. There's so much fear about, you know, what's going to, ha going to happen in our country because our, our enemies, the forces of darkness are, are at war trying to steal our nation and, and really our very lives. But so it's, I need to remember in the midst of this battle, I am wrapped in Jesus, the Son of God, the all-powerful creator of the universe, the one who conquered death and rose from the dead. If you're a believer, you have that assurance from God. Your identity is in Jesus, and he will never forsake you because you are wrapped in Jesus. And that is is my encouraging word for today. If you like this video, please share it on Facebook. Go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. And God bless you. Have a wonderful day.